Congratulations to the Providence Friars. We've got, uh, we're going to start off with Nate Lehman with a comment about the game, and then we're going to ask the student athletes some questions and come back to Coach. Please identify yourself and tell us who you're working with. Let's start with Coach Lehman. Well, it was a good game. I thought it. Uh you know, I thought I was really proud of our team for executing uh, our game plan and sticking with it. Um, you know, I mean, they're, they're a great transition team, and uh, and Johnny made some good saves in the game tonight. So I'm really proud of our effort. I thought it was I thought it was a good effort uh, from our guys, and now we have to turn around and, and have another good effort for tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon. Questions for the Providence student athletes here in front of. Uh, third period late there, uh, there's that shot that popped up and, and caught you off the mask. Couldn't be actually coming at you from all angles and, and really putting them on you. Did you, you know, at any point feel like you, you know, finally had the game in control? Uh, no, we, we knew how good of an opponent they were, especially offensively. And uh, we had, during, after the second period, we really wanted to stay desperate. We wanted to keep playing our game, and that's what we did in the third period. So. Uh, they, they were firing pucks from all areas, but they, most of them were perimeter shots because our guys were doing a great job of boxing out of the net front. And uh, I don't think there was a shot that didn't have a clear lane to me tonight, so it, it made the game pretty easy from the guys around there. If you guys could just speak a little closer to the microphones to make sure everybody in the room can hear, we'd appreciate that. Next question. Uh, as far as we John, we've got the first two minutes of the game they had five shots on goal. Have a start like that where you have to make a lot of saves and kind of force you to get locked into the quicker and put your sense right away that you were going to have a big night. Uh, it definitely helps to see pucks early and to get a feel for the puck. Uh, we knew that they were a Frozen Four team last year, obviously made it to the national championship, so they had experience on their side in a way. So uh, we just knew that we had to weather the storm and come just give them our best push back. And uh, that's what they came at us for the first three or four minutes. But I think after that, we, we got our legs under us and we really took it to them. Pat. Pat Rod, the Associate Press. Mark, can you just talk about what it's like having John behind you and how that helps the offense? I mean, it's unbelievable when you have a goalie like John uh, behind you. Uh, you know, if, if we bend a little too much, you know, uh, we, we have John back there to, uh, to help us out. But, uh, you know, I think we've, uh, we've played a great team game tonight all around. Cool. Hi, Adam Nagy from NBC 10 in Providence. This question's for John and maybe Mark if you don't mind answering too. Um, but you guys beat a team 4 nothing that wins the national title game last year. That team hasn't been shut out all year. I know you guys have confidence in yourselves and your teammates, but in some ways are even you surprised about how this game went down? Uh, I, I don't think surprise is the right word. Just kind of... It just kind of, we were just taking the game as it went, playing in five-minute increments and um, just focusing on shift-by-shift shift and period-by-period. Period. And uh, w like we said, we knew that they were a good, good opponent, but we also had belief, belief in ourselves because we uh, we knew we could have the ability to get here at the beginning of the year. And uh, coming down, didn't matter who we were, we weren't coming here just to have fun and um, be here. We were coming here to win. So uh, it, it, it's a special win, but it's time we got to let it go and come back tomorrow. Yeah, I think uh, I think Johnny hit on the head right there. I think we we all have the belief in ourselves in that, in that locker room. Everyone in that locker room believes in ourselves. And uh, like you said, we we came here to, to win. And uh, I think I think this first game uh, we got we got off to a good start, and we have to uh, carry it into tomorrow. Brian, um, probably for either Mark or Steve, uh, could you tell a point in the game when you felt like you know, was starting to get frustrated with the, the way it was going? <coughs> I guess uh, maybe midway through the second, we got a couple lucky bounces. I think our second goal went off one of their defenders, and then the power play goal was a close to a high stick there. Uh, and once we got a couple goals up, you could see them getting a little frustrated, just taking uh, shots after the whistle or whatever. So we just wanted to keep on them and uh, keep the pressure on. Jeff? Yeah, we knew uh, they have three lines or four lines that can score, and if you give them time and space, they're going to make plays. So our focus going in as a decor is just to limit their space and have tight gaps and just uh, keep them to the perimeter. I think we uh, did a decent job of that tonight. Brian. Uh, uh, John, did you... Uh, during the World Juniors, did you keep anything from Shane? Pardon? Did you keep anything from Shane Goss' period during the World Juniors? Uh, keep anything as in just... As in, are, do you have anything he hasn't seen? Uh... I don't, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I, I only... That was a tournament where I didn't... 
I was more along for the ride than actually playing, so uh, most of what he saw was in practice, so I guess you can take it what it is. Rob Sullivan from the Bridgeport Banner. Uh, Mark, can you just introduce with the uh, first goal? Uh, that all materialized for my line mates. It was a great play all around. Uh, it was a dump in, and Trevor Mingoy went in there hard on the four check, uh, got on their D, and uh, they, they coughed it up right to uh, Connor McPhee coming down the wall. And I just uh, went to the net. He kind of gave me a great pass, and I just tapped it in. Steve, is this one of the best games you guys played all season? Uh, yeah, I think it's got to be up there. I thought we uh, had a good 60-minute effort um, from the net out. I thought we were all fairly strong. We managed the game a lot better than we have in the past. Uh, we really kept them to the outside and uh, limited opportunities. Pat? You, you guys just talked about uh, tomorrow. Obviously, you're facing another delivery team. Country how confident level going to be that game? Uh, I think we're pretty confident going into that game. Yeah, I think we're pretty confident going into that game. You know, uh, like I said, everyone in that locker room uh, believes in ourselves and uh, believe that that uh, we can get here and that we that we can win. So I think uh, we're pretty confident. Yeah, uh, they're um, they're obviously the highest seed coming in here, and uh, they end up standing here. And uh, I I don't think we've seen, we're that familiar with them. Obviously, we didn't play them this year or anything, but uh, we know the type the type of players I have with Shane Gossespierre. He's one of the most dynamic players in the country. But uh, we we saw some of those guys tonight as well. So at, although they're a higher seed and um, we, we, we feel ready to go. Any other questions for the Providence student athletes? <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Good luck tomorrow night. Thanks. <clears throat> questions for Nate. Hey, Mark. Hey, you from the Providence Journal. Nate, you weren't happy with the leadership of your team uh, last Friday night when you lost to your team. What do you have to say about that? Uh, well, I thought it was... I thought it was uh... I thought it was a 20-man effort tonight. You know, I mean, if you're going to beat a quality opponent like Quinnipiac, it's a 20-man effort. But uh, we were ready to go tonight. You know, um, and and that's a lot. Of, that's a lot on the leaders. Um, they they set a very good tone this week. You know, it's it's tough, and I think it's tougher uh, if you have bad practices in the week to have a really good game. So I think it starts in uh, starts in practice. And I thought the I thought the upperclassmen really had a good you know set a good tone. Ken? Hey, now we should have to ask you about the matchup tonight with the union. Your thoughts? Is Who do we play? <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts about that? Ah, oh, they're they're dynamic. I mean, we you know like. Uh, God Spare might be their best forward, even though he's a D. You know, uh, Dan Cars uh, can really rock at it. You know, I mean, I coached those guys for a year, so um, they're a great team. A lot of team speed. I was really impressed with their team speed today. I was really impressed with uh, with uh, their guys. They they rolled two lines basically, two and a half. So they're willing to have a short bench. Um, it kind of keeps you on your toes there, and uh, yeah, they're a great team. You know, they're very deserving of the number one rank in the nation. I think. Coach, when you're in a short front like this, goaltending can be so important. How like crucial is John Gillies tonight? Just you know, early on, weathering the storm when you guys never footing, and then for just the entire game, 37 saves, putting it together. I thought we played a good first 10 minutes. You know, I thought we played a really good first 10 minutes. I thought we scored the first goal, um, and I thought that got us going. But John's been our rock all year. Um, you know, and I, I thought he made better saves in the second period where they were getting some transition. Uh, there's some transition chase, uh, chances, and we had some soft gaps, and they were shooting through some screens, and they made some good saves there. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, Quinn Dak essentially said that as far as your team was concerned, the physicality took them out of the game. Was that more of an emphasis for you tonight than any other game? That's, you know, we we came into tonight's game and we wanted to play our, our game. That was a big thing. You know, I, I think um, you know when you come into these games, you want to play the way you play. You don't want to you don't want to adjust too much. You don't want any you know kind of uh, over respect the opponent or it, because I think they can just kind of cause some paralysis. So we just want to play our our, uh, our type of game. Uh, we had a lot of respect for their forwards, um, so we we certainly had to make sure that it was a uh, you know we didn't give them a lot of time. Time and space. Nate, Nate Anthony with the Boston Globe. It had been quite some time uh, since earlier in the season when you played Quinnipiac. Uh, John, you know, 
complexity of that game too. I mean, what was the difference tonight in them from what you saw earlier in the season? Well, I think one thing that helped us a lot is we had a week to prepare. You know, when we played them in the middle of the season, uh, we didn't have that. You know, we had two days to prepare. Uh, we were coming off a tough league weekend, as they were, you know. Um, and when it was in their barn, you know, and, and uh, home fans mean a lot, you know, in college hockey to, to this age group. And um, so I, I, you know, I thought the fact that we had a week, I think that helped our preparation a little bit better. Nate Mark Singles from Elvin Town Union. Um, Rick talked today about how you really give him a second chance at coaching. Uh, what will it be like for you? Do you think it be for the bedroom him? Uh, on, on Rick earned his second chance. Rick's Rick's uh, he's a hell of a coach, and um, you know the one uh, the one thing you learn there, there's no there's no such thing as a perfect head coach. There's perfect staffs, you know, and and um, you know it, I, I don't I think once the pucks dropped, I, I I can tell you I don't think any you know anyone on the ice is going to think about it. You know, it's one game to see who advances, and you know that's our goal. And you know there's there's really nothing that's going to kind of distract you know. Uh, me or or the team, I think, uh, from that. So you had quite a bit of time to prepare for this game. Uh, for your next game, you don't, or did you previously prepare, and, and how is that going to play? Well, you can't prepare because, you know, like, uh, uh, you don't know who you're going to play. Uh, so... And, and again, I mean, like at this time of year, you just want to play your brand of hockey. So, you know, like we'll look at some power play, we'll look at some penalty kill, and um, and that's about all, you know. And and uh, we want to get back out there and and get back on the ice. Fortunately for us, I mean, we I was able to roll four lines a lot tonight. Um, I think that helps us. Um, and you know, uh, I thought you know we just kind of managed that game uh, in the third period pretty well. So. Um, so fortunately, I think, you know, hopefully we didn't have to burn a lot of energy there. Do you agree with the players that the end result for nothing wasn't that surprising? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Play the game to win. You know, you got to believe in yourself, believe in your team. And I like our team a lot. Uh, it's one of the toughest teams I've ever coached. And, um, you know, I mean, we, you know, played a lot of good teams this year on on our schedule um and i think it prepares you for for you know any type of games this time of year so if you don't believe you can be here if you don't believe you can win games you don't belong here you'll never make it here go ahead Well, you know, again, like um, it's just about the game tomorrow. You know, it's about a game and an opponent uh, that's standing in our way for us to get to to the Frozen Four. So, um, you know, uh, I, to be honest with you, I mean, it's I'm not thinking about it too much. Um, just want to go. Just want to play. Wish we dropped it in 60 minutes. Jeff. Uh, coach, you talked a lot about your forecheck all year, and with the coach you know, gave you, you guys tried to do forecheck. I thought that first goal was kind of a perfect example of when you're playing well and using that forecheck, you know, how good things can happen. Can you talk about how important that was to get you know, kind of off to that hot start right with Yeah, Yeah, I mean, uh, we're uh, we're a little bit of a meat and potatoes team, um, and you know it's. Uh, I thought we, we did a good job of executing on the forecheck there, and you know when when we're able to get in and and uh, you know and and play the body and kind of get after teams, we're able to get our body over the puck a little bit better, you know. And so it was a good it was a good shift by those guys. It was a really good shift. It was it was a heck of a, a play Trevor Mangoya made to win the race to the loose puck and get on it and. Uh, and, and, and I thought it kind of disrupted them a little bit. And real, real quick, uh, I felt like Jankowski all year has kind of gone to the net you know, a lot more than he did his freshman year, and that was kind of a perfect example of him you know, going right to the net and you know, finding the bucket. Kind of 13 dirty area goals. Yeah. You know, I've been charting them for him. <laughs> 13 dirty area goals. That's where you got to get to, you know, this time of year. Um, you know, you have to have, uh, you got to get to the net to score this time of year. And that's, you know, I know you've been following us for a while, so you've seen the success of Nola Chari's line, but that's what they do. They, they get to the net well.